Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you cinematic green effect in Photoshop. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So going to the file in this portion and open up. Here I got an image which is the original image. Actually this one is output and this one is the main image. So if we compare this one, after adding the effect we're getting this and before this means before using the settings you are getting like this we will edit this one so turning off this one after that you can drag and drop in this plus sign you are getting the another copy of this layer and then going to the filter and camera you can edit manually or you can go to the settings or example files so how to make this one manually making this one little bit of like this temperature minus 10 and exposure little bit down contrast little bit up highlight little bit down the shadow little bit up not too much and whites little bit up and blacks little bit up that's good and texture and clarity dehaze dehaze i'll make this one five and vibrance i'll make it little bit down okay in this portion i'll add some little bit of warm tone not too much minus 11 is good for me and in this portion i'll use the tint over there from the curve options i'll go to this tone curve select once and adding some drama like that using this one like this so in this portion we are getting the highlight proper highlight which is the eye soothing the before one was uh, too much highlight but in this portion we are getting the soft highlight over there and going to the detail option noise reduction i'll use some noise reduction and the color noise reduction little bit not too much and going to the basic option second and from here i'll add some texture if i use texture it will be effect in the skin which is really natural it will provide you the natural feel adding this one around 25 that's good if i make it minus down it will be like a normal or abnormal image but in in our real life we are getting the realistic texture in a face which is important and color mixing here color mixing sure you are getting three points which is the hue saturation luminance from the hue you are getting the color build which color will be it defines with the hue saturation percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color in this portion red we have to make this one little bit of different types of red saturation i'll make increase this one that's good and the luminance i'll make the luminance a little bit of up not too much so before one and after one going to the green option adding some luminance down and the saturation a little bit up but in the hue portion i'll make this one so that is the green but cool green is really the cinematic one okay now i won't use over here uh, the color uh, if you want you can add some saturation in the face and the luminance in the face if you add some luminance in the face face color is yellow and orange you can add this one it will be like a glossy or like the nice face color okay that's good but in this portion we are getting the face you know, just uh, getting uh, too much light over there for that reason i'll make the highlight a little bit of down and exposure a little bit of down so when you're getting a portrait inside the uh, house or the like under the tree you're getting some shadow over there and the natural light is important for that that's why i made this one exposure a little bit of down and highlight a little bit of down because of uh, natural tone but cinematic color grading portion here is the shadow portion i'll use here some shadow over there and here a little bit of saturation like this so shadow is good i would suggest you the shadow like that and the mid tone less highlighted area like uh, under the chin and the this portion less highlighted area adding some saturation not too much and that's good okay that's nice before one and after one so main goal is to add some like focus in a face if you make everything little bit of down the face will be focused and the portrait will be more attractive the highlight portion a highlighted area so adding some saturation and adding some highlight color we should use the mid tone and highlight same because of when you are getting the golden hour uh, portrait and that light and the highlight and the mid tone will be same so we can copy this one controller command c and here controller command v okay same value that's fine saturation it could be a little bit of up and down so here i'm using 13 and here i'm using 13 but you can make this one 
little bit of down or up 7 and 13 that's fine and here optic geometry and effects so from the effects i use some green which is uh, the main thing in cinematic tone i'm using here 10 and vignetting little bit of minus value minus 10 so that's good and the calibration most important thing so calibration could be like that minus value and the blue primary and the saturation i would suggest you the five is good so let's see the before one and after one literally cinematic effect and this cinematic effect will make you more aesthetic in the photo editing that's good in a green primary if i use this one 16 and the saturation should be five that's fine and the red primary okay i want to make this one a little bit of this type of tone that's nice plus 28 and the saturation five so let's say before one and after one and now from the basic portion i suggest you a little bit of warm tone zero or minus nine if i make this one minus nine i should make this one plus nine you e are getting the nice value over there the before one and after one you can use that preset for your photographs easily that means here is your photo and you can use that one okay before one and after one let's see the before and after use difference between the cinematic and normal mode if you want to use another plugins or other filters you can do that so here is the color lookup options you don't need any any plugins to install here the by default color lookup and 3d LUTs, LUTs, and here like uh, film stock you can use that but i would suggest to make this one fill color 30 percent and the normal that is 89 percent so let's see the before and after you're getting literal vibes over there and uh, that is uh, naturally uh, cinematic in a green effect so hope that it will be helpful to you and uh, hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of question queries please do comment in my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye